these bitter cold temperatures heading our way. We are on your side with a look at just how quickly these temperatures can really turn dangerous. Josh Gant is live to break it down for us. Josh. Yeah, when temperatures drop, it doesn't take long at all for our uh, bodies to uh, lose heat. We've heard that from our first alert weather team, but tonight I want to show you how quickly that can happen. A normal body temperature is 98.6 degrees, which shows up as this white light on this thermal imaging camera used by first responders. Firefighters normally use it to find people in search and rescue scenarios. Right now you're noticing the temperature difference between the skin and the outer layers of clothing. As you can see, the temperature change. A few years ago, Tuscaloosa firefighters let me try it out. Now I want to show you how quickly your body can lose heat. You can see my face is pretty much all white right now. I stood outside in the cold for just a few minutes. And this is what less than five minutes out in this cold can do. You can see my tips of my fingers have turned a dark blue color. And the longer you are out in this cold, the more you run the risk of something potentially serious happening. And take a look at my face too. You can see a dark color beginning to form there. You really want to do everything you can to keep your head, the core of your body warm, keep moving and get out of the cold as quickly as you can and warm yourself up. Former longtime Hoover firefighter and safety expert Rusty Lowe says you need to have everything covered up if you have to be outside because with wind chills this low, frostbite could set in within 30 minutes or less. That's when actually the tissue freezes and can cause tissue damage. And with the wind, any exposed skin is um, uh, can fall victim to um, frostbite or, or you know burns from the wind. So you want to protect your skin and as much of your body as you can. And don't forget the hats and gloves as well. It's also a good idea to dress in layers, but make sure it's not cotton. I'll tell you why that can be potentially dangerous when we see you tonight at 10 o'clock. Live in Birmingham, I'm Josh Scant, WVRC, Fox 6 News on your side.